Hello everybody, this is ZigZagZog coming to you from somewhere in this world and scavenge time is upon us here in this season right now. We're a little, uh, we're not in horrible shape, but we're a little lower on materials, lower on materials than I would prefer. So we have a scavenge in front of us and besides, we haven't said howdy do to the Forsaken in quite a while. So let's go do just that. It says medium threat level. We'll find out if that's true with a late game forsaken if uh, they have any tricks up their sleeves but other than that let's let's take a look at what we want to do i think we're going to go even though he's slightly slightly dinged we're going to go with citizen andrew today which also means uh we're gonna go oh there he is tech with tech mcnition i'm probably once again gonna take away potentially well you know i i think i like the idea of how we were able to scoot around you know what i may do is uh rather than have quite as many i may i may sit tezkit down so we can have a few more since it's forsaken i like the idea of having a few more snipers maybe on this mission which means i have a couple of, and also maybe having the you know the little doodads there so yeah yeah you're 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 gonna take a seat again we won't be frenzied and i gotta sit down one more of us and i'm kind of a leaning oh marcus you were quick and helpful on the last one but i think because it's forsaken i'm going sniper sniper technician to go around on andrew and keep him running explosions with spider drones and therefore, Marcus, we're actually going to play a little different this time. Since it's the Forsaken, I think this is maybe something that'll do better for us. I guess we'll find out in the end <laughs> whether it works or not. But that's that's my thinking going in. So let's get in here and take a look at everybody first of all, since not, every, not everybody did go out on the last mission. We have four, count them, four counts of delirium but it's not enough since we have full stamina to offset our willpower so that's that's the good part of it i kind of feel like disabling a body part uh, removes armor since we're facing forsaken that just might be oh in case we want to overwatch but this is, uh, we, well, hopefully we're, we'll be taking two quick games and then we won't be able to overwatch anyway. So let's just do it this way. And I'm going to pick a weak spot instead. It's a big dip into the pool SP, but that's what we're going to, oh man, there's so many good perks here since I, I want you here as a sniper. But we also have extra damage output there. So that's what we're doing. All right, Angry, you also have shoulder mount, which actually can be very, could be very useful against the pure and i'm going to keep you with the heavy gun you and we goo boots aren't really going to matter the dave you're going out with your special little goo boots too and uh the, the only thing i gotta look at doing is i uh, i'm thinking i'm not gonna take the heavy gun although it might be useful for shredding but odds are we'll hopefully be able to shoot at a distance and therefore I'm thinking about doing it like this. I'll keep the extra med kit just in case. It still gives us five slots for carrying stuff. Now we're on. Now we're working. I don't know that the pistol's really going to do all that much. Of course, unless we, I'm, I'm going to eat those words if we get down to just a little bit of damage left. Let's see. Well, the hand cannon is two action, so that yeah, we're just going to... Since we're, it's just a scavenge mission and we might have to carry stuff, we're just going we're just going like this. And this gives us ten shots. That's five rounds of shots. Okay, we'll we'll do it like this, because I just don't know the percentage on that on that particular weapon. And just to give you a little carrying power, since this is a scavenge mission, we'll actually give you a spot of strength. And tech mcnition, we do not have my friend we do we now have that laser turret that got destroyed last mission last time we took you out so we'll just give you a basic one just in case you're going to be riding around on our uh, speeda to help us out and we're starting to get up there to where you can throw that freaking turret hopefully that comes sooner rather than later and just as a preparation since you have remote control on this one 
when we do get it out, we'll try that. Yeah, yeah, you're sitting down on this one, uh, Citizen Sturmovic. We are taking you out on this one. I will keep you with that weapon. We're going to hope you stay hidden, and I'm going to give you plenty. I'm going to give you plenty of spider drones on this one, like this. That's what I'm thinking. You are, you're, you're going to be one that I, I think I don't count on carrying stuff so much. So let's just do that. Let's, let's, you know, a couple emergency spots to help us carry things, and that's about it, as far as I'm concerned. And we'll save your SP. Tesket, we're giving you a break on this one. Marcus Frager, Joy, you're also getting a break on this one. And Eddie, uh, you didn't get to go out before, but now you're coming out. And does Virophage work on Forsaken, really? I'll tell you what, we're, we're going to I th we're gonna save that for actual Pandorans, just in case. And I'm going to bring you like this. Now, this gives us 15 shots. I probably don't need the extra ammo. But we'll, we'll go out like this. And just in case it comes in handy, let's, let's give you a little war cry. All right, now we got Citizen Andrew. He's fully loaded with that. I don't need to capture any of these guys. So we'll have it all loaded up like this. The only thing I have to figure uh, for you is, uh, well, since we, we don't really need to capture them, that's the thing. So what I need to do is have that extra potential to heal us. I think that's more important than, than trying to capture them. So we will not get to try out our new weapon on this one. Maybe. Do we have the other speeda on our other scavenge that's lined up right now? I guess we'll find out. So Citizen Andrew, you are not the one that gets to try out the new toy. But it looks like we're all ready to go. And only things that we pick up and carry out or put on Andrew is what we get. So let's get down there and see if... The Forsaken will provide a challenge or not for this scavenge. All right, the Tiamat set us down gently here on our scavenge mission. Uh, there's Citizen Andrew down behind the UI hiding, trying to be sneaky. So let's see what we got out here. We got 12 packs to pick up. Two of them are nearby. And the rest of them seem to be indoors a little bit. We got one in the building here. And so we got three in the center building, which means uh, we're being set up for close range action against the Forsaken, potentially. All the exit zones are kind of over on this side. So it would appear to me that... I think what we're going to do with you, Citizen Andrew, is head you to drop off Tech Mcnition to pick up stuff in the central building, while we, at this point, set up over on this side uh, to set up. Uh, we can we can handle these two crates, even though uh, even with snipers, and we're going to do it that way. Perhaps spider drones. I kind of put out on this side for starters, just in case the Forsaken happen to be. <sighs> located on that side too. So let's get our snipers moving first. I think that's the first order of business. And there we go. See, we see the first one pretty far back there. I'm not too concerned. Let's just get an idea of what they bring to the table. Regeneration, days immunity, close quarters of aid, stomp. So this guy probably isn't the most threatening at this distance. And the hand cannon he has isn't also it also is not accurate at the distance so we'll get you set up here angry Azel, to hopefully help deal with him now we do have a guy with a shotgun so he's gonna be dealt with hopefully at a distance also next we've got the Dave and what I may just do is since we don't have we only have so much cover as we're moving ourselves over here uh, Dave, we're going to bring you back. We'll just kind of keep us at a distance because both those weapons they have are not good at a distance. So if they want to try pot shotting us, let them. And uh, Tech Magnation, you'll be climbing on board. Citizen Ashtormovic, I think I'm going to start out with Spidey's right in here. And we did see one enemy over here. 
and the kind I'm most worried about, to be quite honest, and that is the priest. And still frenzy, stomp, mind control, you know, all those priestly things, and uh, a virus weapon. So we do have some enemies on this side that we have to worry about. The other thing I just might do is let's do the free reload. And just to help maybe clear out the building in case there's going to be some in there, should I, I should probably... Can't quite get them up to the second floor. So we're, we're, we're going to put them here to potentially drop down here and help clear out the interior of the building for our advance also. Okay. I'm, I'm okay with that. Now we've got Sniper charge away. And uh, I think we'll, once again, you don't quite have the cover, so we'll keep you deep and far away as much as possible and then we'll have access to at least half cover and different cover uh, as we set up to take on the pure and then for you tech mcnition hmm how far can you throw a turret from where you are right now oh you can only that's right you can't throw a turret so we the way we did it before you know i'm mixing up playthroughs uh, in Terror from the Void, you get to throw before you can mind control. It's just the opposite in the base game. You get to uh, remote control. Did I say mind control? You get to remote control before you throw it. So it's kind of those those perks are reversed uh, in in the base game versus the modded game, and I, that always mixes me up me. just a little bit. So I guess what we'll do right off the bat is we'll just get ourselves moved right here and we hopefully next turn can jump through the window, get a thing and maybe even get back before something nasty happens to us. That's the plan at least. And at least we have mind control protection against uh, their priest, that kind of a thing. Let's see if we... See some other Forsaken out there. Okay, so we do at least have one inside, a technician. And we do have a priest over on the far side. Well, it's a fair, a fair amount of them in here. Okay, he's, he's shooting at the spider drones. Okay, so there, there's kind of a lot of Forsaken out here, my friends. There's kind of a lot of Forsaken out here. And I'm a little bit worried about a priest so close to those of us that may not have protection against mind control. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is see if I can I can potentially get some shots on the priest. That's uh, what I'm thinking I'm going to do with these two jokers. Uh, I'm counting on you, Angry Azel, to hopefully do a, a lot, a lot of hurt to this guy. Now, I do not have... Okay, I can... I can oh, you just don't know how... You, you just don't have a lot of will. Oh, that's a drawback. There's, there's a drawback for you, so I will not use the will. Yeah, I was, I was commenting that you, you had enough, uh, you had full, yeah. Hmm. You know, you had full stamina, so you weren't going to take a hit on will. But I don't think stamina offsets. I'm thinking of uh, Terror from the Void mod more in that relationship. So, yikes. We may have to have a change in plan. Plus freaking poles in the way hmm and I can't so if I take a step so the plans have changed mainly because this guy's so freaking close I am very worried about the priest being able to do some mind games on us too <sighs> boy oh boy oh boy so spider draw you know let, let's let my mind stew on things just a little bit and let's have some spider drones have some fun while I'm contemplating things. So uh, we'll come down here. Oh, 
Let's see what kind of blasts we can do. And we've destroyed his uh, his gun. He still has his stick, however. And, uh, you know, these guys come packed with a lot of armor. I'll tell you that much. Okay, and they do generally regenerate. And we still have not taken out a body part, although his health, at least, is down to half strength. Now we've got a spider drone over here, and this guy has a hurtful weapon up close, so it would be very nice if we could start taking that away from him. Spider drones are out there. Now this, this we're, we're hurting this guy. He's got some bleeding going, but you know, they do have the ability to regenerate, and so... We need the other spider drone there. Have we damaged the weapon? So the weapon is still there in one piece. He can regenerate. So he's still a threat also. Now I gotta figure out what I need to do with my spider drones out here. Because we got a lot of close by enemies that are gonna start dealing some hurt to us. So let's reload let's see if we can get spider drones over here somewhere kind of running a little interference and we're going to reload yet again all right i'm going to see if we have the movement and we'll find out real quick if we can jump off grab the carton and get back on and it looks like we should be able to. I'm repositioning. And it looks like we're so heavily burdened, uh, we cannot. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. So I can't put anything back down because we don't have enough action points so we are we are oh my goodness we are prone to get hurt lucky us and uh, that was me being greedy uh, basically I probably should have just picked up the resource packs and we could have jumped back out the window if we were not so fully loaded holy smokes have we uh, made a mistake here have we over overstepped our bounds uh, I guess since you're stuck standing in there there's absolutely nothing we can do anyway I wonder so uh, maybe what we got to do is try coming out here and zapping uh, how far can another dash get you so not quite in zap range of the priest I'm going to save the dash. We're going to move right here. And we took one guy out of the way. And we'll back off a little. Now, now I'm thinking everybody moves on over for the priest. Let's take our guys farther back in, in, in line. And once again, you'll be standing in the open against a berserker. You know, mostly pistol shots. Uh, but I think it's important for us to deal with the priest. So let's do it. That's Radiant Hope. But if I take out the head, that, that could be a two-shot kind of kill, which might not be a bad thing. So let's see if we can hit it. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. That was a pretty decent good chance to hit, too. Already there. Amy. Well, now we'll go for the arm. 
What were the odds on those two shots that they both would miss? Oh my holy, oh, oh wow, I, I, I have no words. Can you tell? I have no words. Oh baby. And you, who had the least <laughs> accurate shot, <laughs> you angry Hazel, they pissed you off that you hit them. Uh, so, oh man, this is not the envisioned start uh, the commander had. And it looks like everybody has moved all their actions. Spider drones can't do anything. Let's see what happens. Oh, he left. You know, he could have mind controlled us, couldn't he? Unless he lost too much will. So we're going to get pistoled. I don't know which one of them... Uh, spit out some mist, but somebody somewhere sounded like they spit out mist. Uh-oh, I was worried about this one. Okay, so we survived better than I expected. I totally expected to be mind, expected to be mind controlled. And so we, 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 we get to, in spite of our error, we get out. We got our jail, get out of jail free card. It basically is what we got. So, I'm going to run away from what we have over here. Actually, the, I'm going to do the same thing again. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get our spider drones a running. hurting these guys because now I don't know that we all have clear shots yeah we're gonna once again we're gonna have to move with our limited will for quick aims and well actually we, we don't have to use the will we can get our single shot since that's all we'd get anyway that's more like it and what we may do even though he's paralyzed I may just kill him anyway just to, well, he bleeds out in two turns. So uh, what we'll probably do is overwatch to help us out. So let's get over here and pick up our passenger. And then we can figure out where we want to dash. I don't know what we saw or why we stopped. Oh, because this guy inside is visible now. Okay, we need you to get on board. What I'll probably do is have Tech Technician have you heal yourself for starters before you get... In fact, let's just do it right now. Oh, wait. Do you need two actions to get on board? I can't remember. No, I think the getting on board is free. I'm on the move. But let's not enter yet. Let's heal you. Uh, let's heal Andrew. And now you can board. And then we have these two cartons kind of in the back side. So I think we'll try to do a looping maneuver with our dashes over here. And it would seem to be relatively safe. We do have this guy with a mallet that might be able to hurt us, but we're we're coming all the way out here. Because we need to pick up these two cartons. That's the job there. Now we have our snipers that need to, to get some work in. And what I'm thinking with my snipers is uh, kill the guy for the will hit. 
taking aim. And then, well, you only got the pistol though. Just do a, a ra random Overwatch against uh, this guy running out to smash the vehicle. And then Angry Azel will also put you on Overwatch, I guess. Well, you only you have a three action Overwatch, so there's really nothing else you see right off the bat. So we'll have you pick some stuff up. What's well, I'm trying to think of what might be the most expensive stuff. I think you have it. And do you see anybody? Absolutely not. So we'll back you off even further just to try and keep you away from these guys a little. And then uh, Citizen, let's get out our last cadre of spider drones is kind of what I'm thinking. So you can't jump it right over this short wall. It's like we got to get back up here. Kind of protects our spider drones a little bit, I hope. And uh, we do have another pack. And then I'm going to start moving you in, uh, hopefully, a, a good direction. You're still hidden. And Citizen Andrew, stay put. Another priest. Okay, he apparently didn't have a great angle up there. Let's hope it's not okay. Yeah, he heard it, but not not amazing shots. Oh, that was that's some good pistoleering, if you want my opinion. And now I think uh, since Andrew is threatened by that particular individual. Uh, we're going to see if we can hit that particular individual. We'll have to move with you to do that. And I could quick aim with you and then uh, do follow up with the laser. Kind of what I wanted to be able to do before. And we're going to do it here. Oh, talk about just take him down to hell with the laser. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, it's nice to know we had a backup. We just didn't need the backup. So, good job, Angry. And with that in mind, uh, we're going to keep you, I guess, uh, who knows where we need to keep you. I guess we'll put you in cover here. And I don't think anybody else really has shots. What we'll probably do is move forward a little bit, say about... Here for you, Eddie, and we'll kind of overwatch back in this direction. With your big gun. And then you will kind of follow the same pattern, overwatching behind us where the bulk of them seem to be. And then Citizen, we do have the ability to put out a few more spider drones. It's our last round that we have, so let's move you away from these jokers and then shoot, kind of run interference to make sure you don't get spied. And this will be a distraction and interference against them advancing too quickly against us. And we can also try and protect the spider drones a little, I guess with our overwatches. That's kind of hit or, hit or miss with the overwatches. Now where are the stairs or, or ladders, whatever you want to call it. So I have ladders down here. This is, so I guess I got to go near these stairs to get up to this one. So let's do that first while folks aren't too, too close to us yet. How about that? 
Let's dash on over there, Andrew. And I'm going to turn us out here, turn us back in, and then Tech McNition will have you run, run, run up here. Fortunately, most of them have congregated over here, and hopefully you will, you'll be able to slip right on by, is what I'm hoping. Oh, you know what I didn't do? You're still weighted down. Gosh darn it. Uh, this uh, little play will have to wait till next time. Commander, wake the heck up. Technician, make a difference. Tech technician, offload, please. Okay. Uh, so what we'll do, just so we're we're not in sight directly over here, we'll, we'll, we'll back you up behind the wall. He's got a stick, so most of these weapons won't won't be too threatening to us right off the bat so I, I'll only back you so far and we'll make our little play next time we do have a little uh, these three spider drones on the roof will have try and have a little fun with in fact uh, this one right here looks like it could be a lot of fun so let's let's kind of come in between the priest and the already injured assault Try some more of that action. <laughs> and we're doing some hurt to them. I don't see anybody panicking yet, but we're, we're, we're starting to make them think twice about coming up against the Phoenix Point team. Okay, a reinforcement over there. We have snipers at least to work on them. Nobody fell for the uh, spider drone trick. Okay, he, he's closer than I expected, that priest. I missed him. So maybe uh, Citizen Andrew uh, is part of our drop-off maneuver. I wonder, Citizen. I think that would be close enough. So I'm going to drop off Tech McNition here, get him running up. We will. Hopefully our snipers can do a, a number on this guy or at least slow him down or hurt him, whatever. Te Tech McNition, now that you are not weighted down... Let's get you uh, moving up the staircase. Uh-oh. I'm really getting Tech McNition hurt today. So... We're doing this. And... We're actually going to park right here. To try and prevent this guy from running up the stairs and doing something bad to us. Ay, 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 ay. Now we gotta see. We can see a priest way off in the distance, but we're going for this guy first. Uh, we could quick aim, but I don't have a second quick aim, so we're just taking a regular shot. Oh, baby. <laughs> Uh, okay, why not? Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> you're having the worst shots of everybody, but you're hitting as better than everybody. Holy smokes. That is amazing. Now, uh, maybe we can work on this other priest over here with the rest of the team and we do have quick games here let's check out the shot first yeah i'll try them on it. a 
Okay, we hit him. I think we probably took out his weapon. The way that reaction was, we heard him get shot. And he doesn't have a weapon. He he can run around healing people in a way. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the shot again. Good job. And I think we're just going to follow up here. Let's see if our citizen is in the way. Well, not exactly, but he's also hiding behind a tree. So I think I'm going to come out here. Just take a single shot. And we took him down. So we definitely are uh, giving these guys will hits. So uh, citizen, I'm thinking what we'll do since there is nobody left on this side that I'm aware of. I'm going to have you come over here for a little crate pickup while our snipers really get zoned in and zeroed in. So we have a panic there. We have a panic there. Of course, the one I want panic the mo Oh, well, he's close to being panicked. So he ain't doing... He, he isn't going to do any mind control up here. That's for sure. I guess, I guess that's, the, that's the good part, the good point. And, and is there anybody else I would prefer wearing down? And I'm kind of leaning towards my spideys coming over here and uh, dealing with the priest. While he can't do anything to us. And there we go. So, yeah, I was hoping uh, the Spideys would kill him and get that last priest to panic. Now we got yet another priest over here that we got to worry about. But Tech McNition, the good thing is uh, we get to move you over here. I'm not aware of any Overwatch this time that I'm running you into. Uh, looks like we have a poison crossbow there. How cool is that? I don't think we have any ammo for it, but, you know, that's cool. Now, New Jericho, that's probably worth more money. What, 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 what would be worth the most money? Who the heck knows? We can't pick it all up. And then uh, we'll come back over here. We still have to get over here. And I cannot, I don't think, I wonder if I can get over here to freeze him up let's find out and then we got to worry about this guy this priest over here and that really shouldn't do a lot of damage to you andrew so uh what I may do is see about taking him out. Now, what we've got to do is come back around because we're going to have to get Tech McNition picked up first and offloaded so he can pick up some other stuff. Now, I don't think we really see anybody with anybody else over here. So what we're going to do is overwatch. Oh, this guy jumped down. So we'll just kind of overwatch over in this direction with our snipers. Ready. In case this guy wants to try coming at us. Holding position. Ready to roll. We shall see. And then uh, we got Citizen over here. Gonna pick some stuff up for us. Now that he has a space for it, because he shot all his... Uh, spider drones out and we'll put the ammo extra ammo right there and that works for me now you can at least shoot and overwatch just in case he comes out that door so you hmm so you won't be able to jump down there or you won't be able to jump down because that thing sticks out so i guess we'll bring you here so you can at least jump down there to get offloaded um no, actually, we'll keep you there because even if it's at a distance, we don't need you to get, get shot up with virus. What we will do, actually, do you have the action? You don't have enough action points, so stay there. Yeah, 
he's trying. I told you that weapon wouldn't hurt you too much. His weapon will be able to hurt you too much. So maybe uh, what we do, Citizen Andrew, is we uh, do some dashing to try and take the hurtful weapon out of his hands. And then continue over uh, for the pickup. Is this gonna, the pickup's just going to be a little delayed. I doubt that you, Tech Mechnician, can reach and make it over there. No. We're not aware of anybody on this side of the map, so we're going to bring you down here to hide a little bit. And then you can heal yourself while you're at it. Feeling better when you're just a moment. And in fact, we'll we'll even overwatch over on this side, just so, just in case something reinforces that we can hurt. And really, nothing else is is happening. So the guy that was over here totally ran in the opposite direction. So nobody is interested in our snipers in this corner of the map. But we're still going to protect it. There's we're we're not moving away from where we are because we can all get out from this point. And Citizen Andrew and Tech Mechnician will just have to deal with things themselves. And we might as well overwatch here for other potential reinforcements down this way. Why not? And Citizen. His pistol can't even hit such a big target as Andrew. Okay. Now, we have a new entry over here. He is hiding, smart guy. But we do have snipers that will attempt to pick him off. Well, then. First shot hit him and got rid of his cover. That's that's pretty cool. We're going to get you behind some cover here. Now he's standing tall for us. That was nice of him. And I think we'll just use this weapon to finish him off. And as fast as they come at us, that's how fast they drop. We're in a good situation with our team holding this corner. We just got to get finished and pick up that last crate before anything uh, dangerous happens. So let's get you over here. Well, let's get you over here. I guess what we'll do is a little little dash game. And we'll dash this way. Good news is that allows Tech Mechnician to get on and finally, at last, unload the last of his stuff so he can maybe make a run for that last crate. Now, let's get you offloaded so we do not forget and do that twice in a row. Okay, now, Angry Azel, what do we have out there to shoot at? Nothing, really. So we got a priest we'll need to take care of. So what I'm thinking is this. Uh, I think if I get Citizen Andrew here, Tech Mechnician, there's nothing super close to you if we come in this side. So we're going to come over here. We're going to come in this way. And we're going to...
we're going to offload. My turn. Uh-oh. What new thing did we see? And where is this assault that I just saw? Doesn't look like he's anywhere nearby and nowhere threat. So we're going to make our move. In fact, I'll keep you behind the wall. I'm repositioning. Here they come. Ooh, okay, so we're seeing things that are paralyzed. We're, we're doing okay. Stay there. And the rest of us, let's do this. In fact, let's have our snipers start, and then maybe you can crossbow kill the guy if we're lucky. Well, that one didn't hit. There we go. You got a kill. How about that? And we have a free reload. And the overwatches are set to help protect us against reinforcements. Everybody has nothing. There's no nothing for anybody else to do. I technically could probably try dashing Citizen Andrew over in this direction, but we're just keeping him here for pickup. All right, so I don't know if we're quite in range to uh, kill this guy. Besides, he's behind a big old rock. Citizen Andrew, is that rock destroyable? Can you run right through it? That's good. Then we can run back and pick our friend up, I hope, next turn. Uh, we have a priest dangerously close, but if we can get in here, do our pickup. You know, you gotta, oh, he's getting kind of close too. I hope, I hope we're not overreaching. We're gonna pick these up and that's it, just to give you a little bit of mobility to get out of here. Give yourselves a little distance. <laughs> and nobody else can see anything, and it doesn't really make sense to do much Overwatch, I don't think. So let's end our turn. Alright. That went well. Tech Mcnition, you can get outdoors. That's good. We're going to start dashing. Uh, we're going to come over here for pickup. My turn. They can't stop me. And we got one more dash within us. Alright, so I'm thinking uh, we're going to be able to get out of here. I guess just because it's only one more turn, we'll keep everybody out here. Uh, I'll do a Overwatch. You know, we're done. So unlike the pure who have a resistance to being uh, zapped and uh, paralyzed, that such is not the case and we can easily get out of here so yes. let's do just that and that my friends is a good scavenge and citizen Stormovic, uh, citizen Vem, I think maybe 
Just maybe that one shot we gave you with a crossbow to get you that kill gave you enough of that XP just to give you your promotion. <laughs> That's what I want to think, at least. All right, so there we go. Nice materials, uh, nice haul overall. Uh, I, I'm very, very pleased. Plus, we got some uh, some nice stuff. In fact, even that poison crossbow. I wonder if... I don't know that we have that tech. Well, we probably have that tech that we could research, but there's one of those right now. If we haven't already researched it, I don't even know for sure. Okay. Let's take a look at our research. I was saying we only have one in this particular playthrough. Here I'm mixing playthroughs. I think we have one of these in the other uh, playthrough, modded playthrough, and that's why I was thinking we might have enough for reverse engineering, but we do not. However, after the Ugothian Entity, do we have the poison stuff in here? A speed of poison weapons. Uh, actually, that might only be for the grenade. I don't know if it's for that particular weapon. So anyway, there we go. This team has done its job. Now, I don't remember. Did we have anything else we needed to take care of over here? Pandoran structures. Okay, we do have one down here that we could do. They're still underwater. So this is a citadel over here. How are we looking uh, damage wise? We're looking uh, we're looking okay, I think. So I may head us over to that citadel with this team. We have a promotion here of vanish so we can move within five tiles and disappear from view for the next turn or until spotted. So it can help help us escape if we get ourselves into trouble. We're going to go ahead and pick that up. And I will also, I think our strength has proven to be okay. So I'm going to save that uh, for more potential willpower and or more importantly, even speed, I think I would like. Uh, we could also think about, oh, I don't have that last row of mutations now, do I? And that has something in there that I would think about using for you. Okay, there's our promotion. Uh, let's get you guys flying down there in case something else pops up. Well, what I was talking about doing, now wasn't I talking about doing something here with you guys? Yes, ancient sites. I think that's more important than the Pandoran structures at the moment. So we're going to get you guys turned around. The, the contaminant will fly there and the other ship. The Holy Smokes will turn around also. And we've made it there. The other ship has to get there. And we've made it there. And before we do anything though, we do have one other thing uh, available on the map. Oh, and this team's ready to go. Uh, we're going to get you flying to this target, the stray, and along with the gift. It's time we take on the experiments continue. It is about freaking time. And then we can worry about ancient sites with that team also. The thing we're going to do next time, though, is over in this direction. And if I zoom out, I'll find it a lot quicker. There we go. We have one more event over here. And I think it's still nighttime. But if I let just a tiny bit of time go by, it will become daytime. And we'll pick up our goods here. This is slightly in the mist, though, so it should be a little more challenging. And it's also against regular Pandora's Night, so it will be extreme. It probably will be more challenging. Uh, but we're going to give it a go. Even if we can't pick everything up, it's uh, a rich site, and hopefully we'll get enough out of it to make it worthwhile and that way we've got enough materials i'm hoping to start doing our ancient sites and the experiments continue and in all the missions we need to get going here in the short term so hope you enjoyed today's scavenge we're going to have another one next time with a totally different feel the the forsaken did not seem to put up a big fight against us probably because we had citizen andrew that was just a zapping machine and they are they have, unlike the pure, no defenses against that. So, hope you enjoyed it. This is Zigzag Zog signing off from somewhere in this world. I want to thank you so much for watching. And feel free to click on the link above. It'll be come very shortly. Once the next video in the series is produced, it will become that as a link. So, you can continue binging. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks so much.